guys welcome back to April after dark I am in my Reagan McNeil Halloween costume that I actually made myself um, that I was for Halloween and yes you might be asking why is she wearing that raggedy throw-up nightgown from you know the 1900s um, and that would be because I have a very special story and slash experience to tell you about that are very creepy and eerie and honestly it's really 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 creeped me out in my own research of this story so go grab your drink calm down sit down maybe some popcorn even and listen to the story of the demonic possession of Annalise Michelle I am sure most of you guys have seen the movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Am I right? Okay, so if you have seen the movie, then you know what basically what happens. The movie was really, really good. I remember going to see it way back when it came in the theaters, and it was actually, it's actually one of the better possession films um, outside of The Exorcist, of course, but it's actually a very good movie. I did like it a lot. It did actually freak me out um, a little bit because I remember I saw the theater it didn't really scare me kind of like when I first saw The Exorcist I watched it and it's like I don't realize how much it actually disturbed me and really got under my skin until later it's those kind of movies where I don't it's not like I'm like oh my god that was so scary oh my gosh I have nightmares it's not like that it's like you start thinking about it later on and then it really starts to mess with you it, like mentally like you start thinking about it in the dark and all these things like little scenes come back up and you know or, or you know recordings that you heard of the you know the voices or scenes or whatever it may be um, you see them flash before your eyes when you're laying in bed and you're like okay I'm a little freaked out right now time to pop in a comedy or a Disney film right <laughs> So Annalise Michelle was from Germany and pretty much about the peak of when The Exorcist came out, which was 1973, um, was about the same time that Annalise was going through her own possession and her own exorcisms. Annalise started out being a normal, friendly, sweet girl all up until she turned 16. At the age of 16, she had a very violent seizure that put her in the hospital. The doctors diagnosed her with having epilepsy, so they gave her medication. She became a little bit depressed after this and withdrawn as time and time went on. Annalise started exhibiting very bizarre and very strange behavior, like any possessed person would, as in licking up her own urine, eating spiders off the floor, her hands would swell up at the dinner table into a size that did not look normal. Annalise said that whenever she would pray, she would start hearing these demonic voices in her head saying things like rot in hell and really evil things like that. It became hard for her to pray or even walk past religious artifacts or anything to do with religion. It was like it became impossible for her. She used to start praying the Hail Mary and then some unseen force would knock her down completely where she would, you know, get bruises and bumps all over her face, scratches. It got so bad that for three years, her mother and everybody would put blankets and pillows on the ground because of these violent shakings and these violent throwing downs that she would have that like some force had done this to her. She would speak in different voices. She was also reported, just like in the movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose, she would see people's faces and she would see these demonic faces form. And this would happen about three times a day. I am leaving out a lot of details because this is such a long story and to be honest with you, I'll get into why I don't want to tell a lot of details about this story. But anyway, she had over some crazy amount of exorcisms performed on her. A lot of exorcists did not want to do, uh, you know, exorcisms on her. Um, a lot of them were not convinced that she was possessed. 
a lot of them thought that she just needed to keep on with her psychiatric treatment. And when this failed, a priest finally decided to perform an exorcism on her. And he didn't perform one, two, three, four, five. It was more like 67, I think. It was some crazy, outrageous number like that. Anyway, she even had premonitions where she would say things like something awful is going to happen in July or something is going to happen in July. Believe it or not, July 1st, 1976, Airely's Michelle passed away in her sleep. They say that she died of dehydration and malnutrition. Her parents and the two priests that were working on her during these exorcisms were all found guilty of these things and were given three years probation. If you do look up Annalise Michelle, you'll find a slew of these normal looking pictures of her in black and white and these completely horrific looking photos of her as she is possessed. I have known about Annalise Michelle ever since I saw the movie The Exorcism of Emily Rose, so I knew all about it. I did not really read much detail about it, you know, I knew that there were audio recordings and for some reason throughout my entire, you know, life, I never wanted to listen to them. Something just was, I wasn't comfortable listening to them, I, I don't like to hear stuff like that because it's real and it freaks me the F out. But anyway, what does April do on uh, over the weekend when she's alone at night? I decide to listen to the audio recordings of Annalise Michelle and the several demons that were supposedly inhabiting her body. And for the most part, they all sound different, but you can't mistake or deny the guttural, long-standing growling that was happening. Like if I were to imitate that, I would cough and I wouldn't be able to perpetrate it for maybe two seconds. Anyway, it's enough to give me the goosebumps and freak me out and make me uneasy, but I listen to all of them on my phone, okay? On my phone. As soon as it gets to the very end, I was already like on edge. Like the minute that I think about it or hear it, goosebumps are standing up, my skin is crawling, all of a sudden my phone, you know, right when it ends, it stops, okay? And it pops up something about a virus. Now, my phone just went off, weird. <laughs> um, nothing to do with this, but anyway, um, it vibrated, so. But it stopped and it said that I had a virus and I kept thinking, oh, oh crap. So I click on something, it says turn away the virus and it took me to an app, which I've gotten on my computer a long time ago. It's never come up again, I do have to say. And I was like, oh, so this was just BS basically. Um, it was just some, you know, joke to try to get me to find an app to buy to get rid of the, get rid of the virus. So I ignore that, put my phone down for a while, start watching TV have my computer up and what do you know this button right here it's kind of like your iPhone but this is not this is a Galaxy Note 5 you press onto this and sometimes it'll take you to Google where you you know speak voice automated things like can you tell me what the temperature is can you tell me what the time is can you look up you know um, hottopic.com or whatever I don't know you get the idea anyway you have to hold that down and you have to speak into it so I was researching this Annalise Michelle story prior to this, a good 20 minutes before all this, and I had also been researching some other stories that I have made several notes on, and they are coming, but um, in particular it was on certain haunted dolls, because those are coming back to my channel. Can't wait to do them. But anyway, I was doing that, and um, so, whoa, there's like something. I keep hearing stuff. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Um, anyway, so I put my phone down and I had been researching all this, right? And it's been like 20 minutes or whatever. I'm watching TV, messing with my computer, I'm not talking, no one else is in the house with my dogs. And phone goes off, lights up, and I hear my little Google chick say, I think I found what you're looking for. Valley of the Dolls, and I am a major 
fan of Billy Idol from the 80s and his old group that he was in, Generation X. I do have some of their albums on my phone, so it, it's like it went to my audio library and pulled up the Valley of the Doll song by Generation X. But in what way did I say uh, Valley of the Dolls? I what, didn't say that. I wasn't watching anything that had to do with dolls. My dogs certainly don't say dolls. Nothing. No idea, and it was a thing where I had to speak, like it was asking me to say it again. So that was weird, so I reset my phone, okay? And then um, the next, uh, you know, several, several nights later, I uh, started watching videos on Annalise Michelle just to hear other people's crazy stories, and I hear some stories in German because she is German, and they're talking about how the house that she lived in in 2013 or three years ago actually burnt up and um that a lot of satanists kind of pay homage to that house because of what happened there they know the whole story so a uh lantern or a, some type of light or something i don't know i might be getting this wrong it was over at the her gravestone in germany and the the fire was started with that light, so you could definitely tell it was arson. But anyway, they say that in this uh, fire that there's actually like, that it was mysterious, I don't know, I don't know. But they said, and I'll answer the photo, but that, that you can actually see in the fire photo of the house, you, you, people claim that they can see a vision of Annalise Michelle while she was being possessed, like in the corner, so that's really weird. They also do say that people visit her gravestone and, you know, um, put things around it, but that there's also photos of, like, supposed paranormal activity going on around it, that sort of thing. Anyway, so I was watching videos on that. I had to freaking listen to more recordings of her freaking demonic voice with all those several ass demons that she had in her that I don't want to listen to. I had to fast forward through one of them, but one of them I just kept listening. And anyway, as soon as that happens, um, my dryer starts going crazy and it's a new dryer and it's like, it was like acting like it was shaking like crazy, like it was really loud and I kept pausing it. I was like, oh my gosh. And, and I was like, okay, you're just freaking yourself out. Get over it. Chill out. My dog is being kind of strange about it. He was looking around at stuff and like, it's like he was focusing on something. So get this anyway. Um, I'm listening to more videos on Annalise Michelle. I have my phone charging on a wireless charger in the kitchen and this guy comes up again, right? As if I'm talking. And I don't even remember what it pulled up and it, that it thought that I said, but um, you have to physically touch this for that to happen. And it said, I think, can you say that again? I think I found what you're looking for. Cause I heard my phone go, did it, did it? Like as if I was like a weird noise, not a notification that I normally get. So I go over to it and it's doing that weird crap that it did with the Valley of the Dolls thing. But I was so freaked out by it. I was already uneasy because I heard those freaking demon voices through my television, um, watching YouTube video and ugh, I don't know. So anyway, um, <laughs> I was like, you know what? It's time to stop researching anything to do with this story anymore and just put it up on your channel. So. Hi, I know I'm breaking in from another video to interrupt your Annalise Michelle scary story, but I do have to tell you guys that the second time that my phone went off and acted like it was looking for something, like as if I had spoken to it and held down that button, I meant to tell you that I heard the noise, I went over to my phone, and it was on selfie mode, like it was going to take a legit picture of... The camera just moved forward. God forbid anything happen to me for doing this now. Um, I am very on edge. I'm very creeped out. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the Annalise Michelle story. If you've heard of it, whatever. Do you believe in this kind of thing? Do the exorcist scare the shit out of you? Do the exorcism of Emily Rose scare the crap out of you? Let me know. All right, guys. I will see all of you in my next video, hopefully. And with that being said, happy haunting, stay scared, have a very creepy night, because I know I will.